Welcome to the EXP Group, one of the leading providers of business training solutions. Please enjoy this presentation and visit us on the web at www.theexpgroup.com for more information. Hello and welcome to today's EXP learning video for ACCA paper P3 business analysis. We're on page 40 of our express notes which as a reminder to any of you that may have just joined us you can download these express notes free of charge from our website at www.theexpgroup.com we're on the quality um, chapter at the moment and what we're going to do today is to look at something called six sigma six sigma okay very well known um, quality management tool and uh, it originated it was originally de developed by Motorola in America in the early 1980s but uh, still today nearly 30 years later it, it's very popular in many sectors of uh, the economy the broad picture behind Six Sigma is that it has an aim of improving the quality of process outputs and the way it would do that is by identifying and then removing various errors so these causes of any defects and minimizing any variability in the manufacturing and business processes okay. there's various methods it's predominantly based around statistical methods but it also introduces things such as black belts green belts linking into the karate side of things but we're going to highlight these in more detail as we go on now let's just go through this in in more detail then so if you look at your notes we've got six sigma six sigma is a quality measure that seeks to identify and eliminate causes of error so it's important it's trying to eliminate the causes so it's all about getting the processes right and let's eliminate what causes the errors okay it's an extension of the TQM extension of the TQM doctrine if you remember TQM from previous videos it's total quality management and all along the aim is to improve the delivery of quality to customers Okay, so Six Sigma, an extension of TQM, originally developed by Motorola in the early 80s, and the overall aim is to eliminate causes of errors and ultimately improve the delivery of quality to customers. What are the key areas of Six Sigma? Key areas, customers are key. Okay, so the focus is on customers. We've got to meet their requirements, what keeps them happy. As you may have gathered, processes. Processes are important. So we want to identify areas of the processes that are causing errors and remedy the processes. And another area they highlight as being key is that you know management have to buy into this. They cannot just say yes and agree with it. They have to be fully committed and buy into it. Six Sigma is uh, quite a detailed science in, in itself really and it introduces a number of various roles within the organization which are tied into the Six Sigma project. They, they actually link it to karate, they link it to martial arts and the various belts that are present. So they have champions, master black belts, they have black belts and green belts and in a way that follows the, the the flow from the sort of most senior karate people to maybe the more junior okay champion so you're the top of the martial arts you're top of karate as a champion within Six Sigma you're the one that initiates a project you're the one that starts it the master black belts okay these are not the champions but they are the, almost the next in line they're the coaches and they're the trainers to the black belts and the black belt level this is the most critical the most important role within the project so the black belts are really important and then we have the green belt level which is um, helping a support and active role 
So that's just a, a little sort of you know quirk of uh, Six Sigma, how they've linked the job titles in effect to uh, martial arts. Now, when it comes to the steps of Six Sigma, when it comes to the steps of Six Sigma, we have define, measure, analyze, improve, and control. Now, DMAIC is used for projects aimed at improving existing business processes, in effect. If you look at define, the first one, define, as the name suggests, that is defining what the problem is. That's, you know, speaking to the customer, identifying what is the problem, identifying what is the goal, what are the project's goals. Measure. Once we've defined the project goals, then we need to measure all the key aspects of what is happening with the current process. Collect all the relevant data. The next one, analyze. Again, as you would expect, with the analyze side of things, we need to analyze all the data we've collected. Identify what are the cause and effect relationships and attempt to ensure that all of the factors have been considered. So we're analysing the data we've measured. Next one, when it comes to improve. So once we've identified you know, what the objectives are, we've measured it and analysed, we need to start improving things, coming up with ideas or processes. We need to run pilot programmes to sort of establish how feasible this is going to be. So we have to improve things. The final stage is the final stage is control. And with control we need to ensure that we are controlling matters once we've implemented it. And so we have any deviations, any variations from targets are, are corrected immediately, brought back on target. So what we have D define, M measure, A analyze, I improve, and C control. So that's the, uh, the summary of the Six Sigma approach for improving existing business processes. Now, as I said, Six Sigma is an extremely well-known and very popular quality control mechanism. It's also had its various sort of um, people who've criticised it by arguing that it's just a, a popular method, nobody really addresses it. But overall, there have been significant savings within a number of companies that have adopted Six Sigma. Okay, thank you very much for listening for today, listening to today's EXP training video on paper P3. Please come back tomorrow and we will be looking at Chapter 9, Project Management. Thank you for listening.